Welcome to Xi'an, a city steeped in history and culture. From the ancient terracotta warriors to the iconic city wall, Xi'an has something for everyone. From delicious local cuisine to traditional architecture, we'll take you on a weekend journey through one of China's most fascinating destinations. So sit back, relax, and let's explore Xi'an together. We're gonna spend here a little more than 24 hours, but is there any other better way than starting with fresh local food? I don't recall the Chinese name here, but I saw that in some videos, some pictures. It smells a little like plum here on top. And it's, it's chewy. And it definitely tastes better than it looks like. <laughs> So we got now here our lamb soup and usually the pita bread should be broken or can be broken by yourself but here it was already broken and crumbles and directly cooked with it so let's give it a try. But I don't know if we try those giant garlic gloves here. So the texture is very gluey and sticky, but the bread absorbs the taste from the soup quite nice. feels good, especially with the, those minus degrees outside. <laughs> it's the oldest hamburger in the world, so not sure if it's a kebab or hamburger, we'll give it a try. The bread is really soft. Hmm. Could use some sauce inside. <gasps> After fueling ourselves, we are now ready for some sightseeing. <laughs> Xi'an is the most eastern point of the Silk Road and therefore a hub of diverse ethnic identities and religious beliefs. Construction of the Giant Wild Goose Pagoda began in 652. It's 64 meter high and was built to store Buddhist sutras from India. We were at the entrance of the ancient city wall, but we thought we first need some coffee. The construction of the city wall began 194 BC and took around four years. At that time, the whole wall measured 25.7 kilometers in length and 12 to 60 meters in thickness. The next destination for us were the Bell and Drum Tower. The drum tower in the background was built in 1380 and is the sister building of the bell tower built four years later, where we are currently standing. Bells rung in the morning and the drums were struck in the evening to indicate sunset. After walking for the whole day, we needed to find some food again. <laughs> Mmm, sticky cake. <laughs> there used to be hanging whole lambs and beefs from the counter and the chefs directly cut the meat right to the bones, put it on the stick. But apparently there are not enough tourists here currently, so it's not worth it. That's sad. Pyongyangmyeon is normally our traditional go-to fast food at home, but it's originally coming here from Xi'an and the character Byang is not a traditional Mandarin syllable, but coming from the sound the noodles make when they're slapped on the table. <laughs> so compared to what we are ordering at home, these noodles are much thicker. So I think you can see that they are freshly made here. There's quite a variety of tastes here inside, as there are a lot of vegetables and chili oil sauce with that noodles. <laughs> 
Siam has been the capital city for 13 dynasties. Qin has been the first emperor unifying China. He is buried here with his terracotta warriors. Invaders in ancient China totally destroyed the 8,000 warriors buried here as a revenge for the misery Emperor Qin brought to their families. Excavation is still going on until today. The life-size warriors are made out of clay, weighing 200 to 300 kilograms. They used to be beautifully painted with a lot of color, so right now the most difficult part for the archaeologists is to preserve that color. Our short trip is already coming to an end. We are already on our way to the airport. We really enjoyed the hours here diving into Chinese culture in Xi'an. The next time we have the chance to come here, we definitely will climb Huashan. We would certainly explore more the rich Muslim culture here, including the great Xi'an Mosque. And we would as well take a look into Shanxi History Museum here and take a look at Gao's family mansion. So Xi'an is definitely worth a visit, fully recommended, and uh, see you next time.